Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to be doing the Kale Perico Heist in a different approach. And I've been practicing a lot of the Kale Perico Heist with different methods, and uh, I got round to doing so well at the other different methods. So, this method, you're going to see me complete this with uh, with the, uh, the disguise approach. So, and also I've chose the, uh, the, the vellum approach. So, uh, yeah. And this will also be a little guide as well on the um, disguise method as well. So yeah, we're gonna be um, doing the Venom approach. I got really lucky for all my targets to be in this location. So yeah. Rather than that. So anyways, let's go. Okay. So, so what I do from here, oh, yeah, you always want to get the uh, the weapon stash because uh, if you do it without the weapon stash, you're gonna do it the uh, the aggressive way. Okay, so there are some little targets here for me to steal. So let's get these while we're at it. I'm doing this on my own, by the way. So anyway, let's grab all this. Okay, let's get the weed as well. <sighs> I don't know if this will fill up the bag, but we'll find out. Close, but never mind. Alright, so we'll leave the other targets up there because I think there's. We'll just get like the, a bit of cash from other places. So. Anyway, right. So, how am I going to get the truck then? I think I know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do it the way I always do it. Whenever I get off the plane. Pull out my gun, then I'll kill this guy first. I can get really lucky to see him through here. If I can. There he is. There we go. And then there's the guy up there. Find a spot where I can see him. I can't see him well. There we go. Shoot him. There we go. Then pick up the uh, disguises. I'm gonna watch out for that camera. Yeah, I got really lucky for most of my stuff to be in this location, so I'm really lucky. Okay, so let's pick up the uh, disguises. And then let's get in the truck. Now, with with this um, disguises, you're pretty much okay for the cameras. As long as you don't, don't stay in the cone of vision for too long. Okay, and once you're in here, you're pretty much... You can just drive past all the guards. But you don't want to be in the cone of vision for too long, though. So yeah. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna drive to the uh, the compound in this truck. It's the first time I've ever actually got this truck, really. So yeah, watch out for these guys' color visions. Okay. So just. Watch you don't stay in there for too long. I think you I think you can also do this with the winky as well, but I'll have a winky edition very soon. But for now I'm showing you the truck method. Also, by the way, the truck and the disguises are not gonna be in exact locations where as you see in this video, they are gonna be random, so wherever you find them when you're scalping out, I recommend going in through that route. Alright, there you go. So at the moment we're doing well, just watch you don't uh, stay in the cone of visions for too long, otherwise you'll be detected and you don't want that, don't you? You want to do this the normal way. 
So yeah, just drive yourself to the compound. Like, I hate driving trucks up hills though half of the time. But hey, it's all good though. Also, do not drive too close to them as well. Because I think they'll detect something. So yeah. But just don't stay in their cone division for too long. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> So yeah, so far we're doing pretty well. Okay. And there we go. And then drive the truck onto the marker. Bang. Okay then, right, now how am I going to do this then exactly, you may ask. Alright, I can avoid all the, the white cones because I think they're not much of a problem. So I can pretty much avoid these and jump here. So what I can do first is to take out this guy. Go, then I can shoot that camera. Just like that. Then run around the back of it. Whilst the juggernaut takes his time to arrive. So yep. so what I can do here is to do this bit like normal, what I always do. Do this. There's gonna be a guard coming, so I'll wait till he walks past and I'll shoot him. There we go. And then I can wait for the juggernaut. There we go. Then I can go and stealth knock him out. There we are. I don't really need to pick up the little key cards because I'm doing this by myself, so and I can't get into the little other compounds as I'm doing this, so oh well. Right, let's just walk up the stairs. There we go. I don't know why I pick it up picked it up anyway, but never mind. <laughs> Uh, kill him. Okay. And now I kill this god. And he's got the gate key, so that's nice. And then there's going to be this god. There we go. Okay, then I pick up this. And I'm opening the safe because you get a little bit of extra money in the safe. There we go. Okay. Now I don't I don't hack the uh in in that main room. Since I've got the gate keys, I just run down to the gate. So down there. Okay, and then I just hack this one down here, because there's not many hacks to do when you're at the lower gate. Right, this is how you did a hack. One, two. One, two, three. Oh, there we go, got the key. Right. One, 
two, three. Oh, got lucky, matched it all. Okay, and I'm, of course I'm stealing the uh, the ruby necklace. One of the best targets to have. This is how you do the um the this is how you do the cutting. Until your heat bog is red, let go, let it go all the way back down, then cut. Then as soon as it goes to red, wait for it to cool down, then keep cutting. And then you'll do it quicker. Okay, right now I'm sitting at 1.4 million, that is excellent. Now there's going to be some more guys coming, so... But anyway... Right, so this guard will walk away. So what I can do is try and run past that camera. Then... And shoot that camera down. There we go, and then shoot the guard. There we go. And there's going to be another guard coming here. Shoot him. There we go. Now I can either run past this guy or we'll wait for him. But I guess I'll just run past him. There we go. And he's coming back, so I'll just get ready to kill him. There we go, and I think that camera's going to turn so I can shoot the camera down. Okay. Then kill this god. There we go. Right. I think I need to kill this guy as well. I think what I can do is jump over here. There we go. Then kill him. There we go. And then kill him. Then I can sneakily walk over to kill this guy. There we go. Kill him. And then kill the guy on the stairs. I think you don't need to kill the guy on the stairs, but uh, I just killed him anyway. So I'm pretty sure he doesn't detect you still. But, never mind. Okay. Okay, so, from here, shoot him, and I'll bring out my assault rifle, get rid of him, and then, get rid of these two, and then, if you still got the disguises on, you don't have to worry about the camera too much, but I just got on the bike, drive up the hill, then keep keep my eye out for um, El Rubio's helicopter. Right, since he's going that way, I think he'll start going that way first. So I think he won't turn. So I can just, or right, yeah, on the br or on the matter of fact, he is kind of turning that way. So what I can probably do is wait for him to turn. So I'll probably do that. So I'll wait for him to fly a bit further away, so I'm out of his co cone of vision, and then he will fly directly past me. I don't have to worry about the guy in the tower because I don't think I'm in range of him. So yeah, I'll just wait for El Rubio's helicopter to go a bit further. Just trying to, trying to keep the bike up. <laughs> I think once he gets past that, the um, my exit, then I'll um, then I'll be good. Okay. 
I always choose the main dock as the exit because it's really easy to escape here because there's not many guards who come down here. So I just always go for that. Okay, then as soon as he's past the compound, I can continue. Now there's going to be a few more guards, so, so back in first person, and take out these guys. There's one. Then there's two. Now what I'll do from here is I'll see what's in here. Right, all well, that's just cash, so I'll leave that. So I want to see if there's like a weed in the other one. If so, then I'll, li I'll get that one. Okay. Kill this guy. Shoot that camera down. So, and then what I'll do from here is I'll kill these guys first before I get on the, one of the boats. Okay. There we go. And there's just, just that one more guard over there. I'll just kill him and then I'll see what's in the other one. Of the little little shed. Okay. Right, so let's see what's in the little shed before we go onto the boat. Obviously you can escape however you want. But I do have other little escape routes anyway that I'll show off quick soon. And there was actually more coke in here, I was surprised. But like I said, I didn't know there was going to be coke in there, so uh, it doesn't really matter now. But you might as well just get whatever you can. Get a bit extra money. There you go. But if you actually did this on your own and you got two, two of these, you'll probably make about two million easily, I think. But hey. Okay, so from here, then I'll just get on the boat and just drive away. But yeah, my advice is always go out this little this little dock and uh, the other dock as well so you know which targets you're gonna steal next time so yeah then plan your room route that's the that's the big thing you want to do when you're scoping out if you got some good targets in one location use that as your entrance and then if you got some good targets on the way out use that as your escape route and from here just um escape And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you. That's how I, how you do it. <laughs> so, like I said um, from earlier, the skies route is always not going to be in the same location as the video is shown. It'll be in random locations. But still, though, we I didn't did it with the disguise route. So, anyways, I'll have some more guys out soon. As there's quite a lot that I've actually um, figured out, really. So, uh, let's see. Let's just see how much we got at the end. So, 1.4 million. Not bad. So, anyways. And we didn't really get the Elite Challenge, so not really fussed. But still, though, thank you a lot for watching, and I shall see you lot in the next one. Take care, everybody.